Yo, 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 what is happening, gentlemen? Today, we're gonna be sussing out the allegations of Cody Ko. We're gonna suss out this video. It's called Say It Isn't So, Cody Ko. And far out is it rough, gentlemen. Cody Ko is a massive YouTuber, a bit of a staple on YouTube, bruh. Dude's been popping for a long time, and uh, yeah. He was a fucking good dude. Until it came out that uh, this dude did the dance with no pants with another YouTuber named Tana Mojo. But uh, the twist was that it was when she was 17. So uh, this dude was 25, she was 17. And those guys, uh, you know, played a bit of tonsil hockey and then went to fucking third base, pretty much a home run. So yeah, dude's in deep water now, which is fucking rough, bro. Because I like Cody Ko. This dude is literally like my go-to YouTuber, bro. This is the dude I watch when I'm eating. Like, this guy's a comfort YouTuber for me. Dr. Disrespect. I used to fucking love him. Nonce. Cody Ko. I liked him. Nonce. If Moist Critical gets done, he's my favorite YouTuber of all time. Charlie, I know you're fucking good. I know Charlie's okay, so I'm not worried. But goddamn, has it been a rough one so far. But Charlie will be okay. I'm not really stressed out. So, uh, yeah. Let's watch this thing. Say it isn't so, Cody Ko. Oh, God, this is gonna be so hard to watch. So, Cody Ko is an extremely successful YouTuber who has been very popular for over a decade online. And what do you have to say about your rise to success? Well, I wish I could say I had people who doubted me, but everyone knew I was gonna f kill it. I would say he's viewed as almost a reverse David Dobrik. Like, people actually think this man is funny and has good takes, and the majority has considered him to be a stand-up guy for a very long time. In fact- Yeah, he's, he's one of these guys that everybody likes. Like, I don't think I've ever met anyone that doesn't fuck with Cody Ko. He's just a very likable dude, you know? Just like a charming, fucking normal guy, you know what I mean? In fact, he had pretty much entered that golden boy territory here on YouTube, after having such a strong reputation for being on the right side of history for so long. His career has likely gone better than he ever could have expected, everything he touches seems to turn to gold, and nowadays he's a comedian, podcaster, writer, and even DJ. And so in this story you have him, who is now 33 years old, and the other person really involved in this situation is named Tana Mojo. Back in the day she blew up at the age of 17 years old. I told myself- Here's where it's getting rough gentlemen, it's getting rough bro. Before I started YouTube that I was going to be different and that I wasn't going to be like every other YouTuber and that I wasn't going to be the sellout average blonde bimbo on YouTube. I was going to be someone different. She got a lot of hate online for her actions back then. Today I have my handy dandy MacBook right here and we're reading some motherfucking hate comments. With her inf I'm not gonna lie bro, I actually didn't know that Tana Mojo existed until like four years ago or three years ago. I had no clue who she was. And then I remember I was in a convo with this girl and she's like, what, you don't know who Tana Mojo is? I was like, no, who the fuck is that? And then all of a sudden I kind of thought she was hot. So yeah, let's keep watching, random story. Her infamous TanaCon really being the huge story against her at that time. Oh yeah, she had like a whole convention for herself. Photo, bro. But nowadays, she's 26 years old and has managed to become a co-host on a massive podcast called The Cancelled Podcast. And I've seen women wearing their merch out in public, so it must be a pretty big show. They do have millions bro. of subscribers and regularly get millions I've of never views even heard of that, podcast. Bro. And so these two had some sort of relationship back when she was first entering the internet atmosphere. They even did some collab videos at that time. Like, we're not friends, you know? Like, this was organized by someone else. Oh shit, I'm in the way, I'm in the way, I'm in the way, I'm in the way. I'm out of the way. Alright, let's keep going, gentlemen. I don't know her. I've Sorry. never met him. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, come on, bro. Fuck off, Adobe. Teach me some slang. Teach me some teens. Okay, well, I was gonna, like, write it. Alright, so I'm way too old to be on YouTube. Obviously. She knows a whole bunch of slang and cool <laughs> words because she's, you know, a teen, whatever. So I'm here, basically, just to learn some... Teen slang. And apparently back then, Tana was a massive fan of this man Cody before they had ever even met. No, I'm just like your biggest fan, like this is such an honor, like oh my god. Well now Cody has found himself in some extremely hot water, because recently this clip from a live recording of the cancelled podcast had gone viral. Oh my god, did no one look at me, Cody Co. That's rough bro, she said smallest penis by the way, they, they just blurted out for some reason. Yo, what the fuck is that dance, bro? This is just doing like the fucking Donkey Kong stomp. What's this, bro? What's this? What the fuck is this, bro? There is no way that was intentional. That is just so weird. Right. Delete the 
And that's not- actually fucked, bro. I can say that. I'm literally 17. I can say that. That is literally nonsery. That is nonsery. That is penis. That's nonsery. That's fucked. That's actually fucked. Obviously, the internet is always going to be the internet. And people started digging, and the timeline was looking suspicious, as Cody is quite a bit older than Tana. <coughs> and so now Tana took to one of her latest podcast episodes to go into further detail about these allegations. I've tried to talk about this a million times, and I feel like I never have the right words. Mm. I hooked up with Cody Cole when I was 17 and he was 25. Mm. Yeah. It happened. Now keep in mind, this all allegedly happened during the course of a Playlist Live event, which is hosted in Florida where the age of consent is 18 years old, meaning this would be a crime. And yes, this did allegedly take place almost a decade ago, but she says time and time again here that it was hard for her to wrap her head around this situation over time because she has experienced much worse trauma in her life. And so in comparison, this situation never crossed her mind as an issue until she got older. It's honestly disgusting. And I also think when you're that age, you think you know everything and you think you're way more mature than you actually are. Mm -hmm. And then from our age now, we can look at it in hindsight's 2020 and it's like, oh my God, you were a child. Yes. You were young. I think a lot of things like that happened to me as well, because I really did have to grow up severely at a, like a really young age. When I look back at the Cody situation, it is, I definitely am like, why was he doing that? You know what I mean? And there were so many situations. There was a situation with Gabby Hanna at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like, yo, she's 17. And then we still went. No, no. Wait, did I hear that correctly? Gabby Hanna at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like, yo, she's 17. And then we still went and hooked up. Mm. And no, I <laughs> Dude, this guy freaking knew. He knew. It's not one of those things where it was a fucking accident. And I know, like, sometimes shit happens. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. I've been 18, 19 on a nightclub dance floor. And, like, you think everybody in there is 18. You're drunk off your face. And you just hook up with a random chick, bro. I've done it fucking heaps of times. And sometimes, you know, you start thinking afterwards. Like, oh, shit. You know, sometimes people use fake IDs. And they might not be 18. Fuck, what if I just got with it? You know what I mean? But sometimes it's a bit of a spin out and it's like, oh shit. This isn't one of those situations where he didn't know. This is like, bro, you fucking knew and you still do it? That's like a girl tapping me on the shoulder in a club. Yo, I'm 17 and she's pretty hot. And then I just go fucking tongue first, straight between her lips, right in for the kill. And that's messed up, bro. That is messed up. You do not play tonsil hockey with anybody younger than 18 if you're over the age. It's fucked. And if you're over 20, don't go for anything under 19. I don't know. I, I think that's even still sketchy, but you know. Who am I to say? Fucking out, Cardi, bro. Come on, bro. And I can look at that and be like, what the why the fuck were you doing that? But I don't for real. associate or hold it with trauma because I am such a comparative person where I'm like, so many worse things have happened to me. And you didn't, at that time, it's like, you don't really know what you're doing and like, you don't really think it's wrong. But mm -hmm. again, it's like, he was... 25? Mm. She even go For real, bro. For real. This dude is 25. I'm 21, and I think it would be even weird to be with a girl who's 18. Bro, I'd go... No, I wouldn't even go for 19, bro. Or maybe 19 if I was really hot. But like 19, 20 to 23 is like the age range I would work. Bro, if you're 25... At 25, I wouldn't even be looking under 23. You know what I mean? If you're 25, bro, go for fucking 25-year-olds. Nonce, bro. She even goes on to make the point that it was hard for her to come forward with this because she still doesn't necessarily look at Cody as a bad person. The thing is, is like, I still watch his videos. Like, I do think he's really funny. And like, it's... It is this weird thing of like... I, it, it would be easier and harder, or it would be easier and less hard if he was like- Easily hateable. Yes. To really put yes. this more into perspective, this is someone who is the age of a junior in high school, hooking up with a famous man seven years after he graduated. And that's not even to no, mention- No, that's actually weird, bro. That's actually weird, bro. Wait, 1725? Yeah, that's fucking seven years, bro. No, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight years, bro. That is wild. Power dynamics with her being a big fan of him before they ever even met and with her being very green to a new industry that moves very fast and like she says here can be very sexual. I was just hooking up. With I fucking said that. I said that. The power move. The power move. 
If she's a fan of him, he automatically has power over her. Just like the rappers who fuck fans, bro. It's the exact same thing. It is literally the same thing, bro. With people and having so much fun and like, cause I grew up loving him and I think I, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I was just like excited and a fan and like. She also makes the point here that because she is disliked a lot online with a historically poor reputation and because Cody has been so universally loved, people tend not to believe her about this story. I know for a fact if you swapped out Cody Ko with someone that like people didn't like that much. Oh my I God. would be receiving so much more sympathy versus like the amount of people in this industry who like want to protect him. With that being said, there is this is witness true. named Gabby Hanna that corroborates with her story. I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage and I pulled him aside and I was like, Trust me when I say this. You fucking stupid ad, stupid ad, fuck off. What are you going Better help. You, you need help, you fucking bad. dick. You stupid hey. fuck. And by the way, just let me, we'll restart the clip. Where the fuck did they find this clip from, bro? This clip looks like it was dug up from like the 1930s, bro. It looks like it was from caveman Great times. with her story. I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage. And I pulled him aside and I was like, Hey man, you probably don't know. I know she like looks a little older. She's underage. Watch it. And he's like, oh my God, thank you for telling me. And then he- This all kind of reminds uh, me of- Oh, nah, Cardi, why is David Dobrik's face on my screen? When the sketchy actions of David Dobrik came out years ago, and all of his fans were riding really hard for him trying to throw his creepy ass bail just because they enjoy his content. It is very hard for fans to think of someone they've watched grow for years in this way, but that does not mean that Cody has not been feeling the pressure of this slowly coming to light as Tana claims that he even reached out to her about it. I think I said something about it online and it was starting to surface and he texted me like, are we good? So for weeks now, since this story first started- <sighs> He must be so scared right now, bro. He actually must be like on the edge of his seat. He's gonna have to come out and say some shit in like the next couple of days, 100%, bro. Started bubbling up due to that viral clip, Cody has now been deleting any comments or Reddit threads that mention the situation at all. That's rough. And so now no, many a, people are- That's actually pussy shit, bro. That's pussy as fuck. Obviously demanding some sort of response from Cody. And I do want to say there has been this greater conversation online about the age of consent lately. And I just want to say like beyond the physical aspect of it, I feel like it's really more about the mental differences. Like when you're 16 to 18 years uh. old, you feel like you're on the precipice of adulthood but you really aren't even close. But because you feel like you are maturing, you will likely try and do things that adults do. Like I would even call 18 to 21 still a pre-adult phase. Because that is true, that is true, bro. Well, I'm 21 now. I damn, am I still pre adult? The fuck? Like, when I was 16, I remember I used to go to apartments in the city and we used to go and hang out with like other dudes and like drink at these apartments. I was 16. I remember my mate hooked up with a 28 year old woman and he was fucking 16. Like, looking back at it, that's wild. Like, that is actually wild to think. I don't know how we somehow got her there, but he was in a bed and he hooked up with this 28 year old woman. He was 16. We were dapping this motherfucker up. Like, yo, that was fucking sick. As if you did that, bro. Like, everybody was getting around him. But, uh, now that I think about it, it's actually really fucked up. Anyway. Because you still don't know shit about life. And most people are still going to do extremely stupid things during this time with their newfound freedom. Now by the time you turn 21, obviously you have more rights. You've had a couple more years to make your own choices. And by the time you're 25, like Cody allegedly was, you should know better and just be smarter than to even think about spending time with anyone who is still a minor. So we need- Yeah, for real. Like, when you're 25, it's like, come on, bro. Fucking get a life, dude. Cody to say something here. Like, could you imagine if this was James Charles at 25 hooking up with some 17-year-old high school fan of his? Dude would be over. There would be hour-long think pieces posted left and right. I also want to know what you guys think will happen if this turns into a he said, she said situation, where he just denies ever sleeping with her in the first place. Because like this woman says, people already view her as dishonest due to her past. And with the other main witness in this situation being Gabby Hanna, who also doesn't have a very good reputation online, just being very realistic, this could 100% turn into that. Now with that being said, I do believe he- I don't know, bro. If it does turn to like one of those he said, she said situations, 
Straight up, I reckon Tana Mojo is winning, bro. I just believe her. Like, why the fuck would she say it? Like, yeah, she was hated, but she was hated back when she was younger. Like, she's way older now. And once again, why the fuck would she bring it up? And two, I feel like more people would start sticking up for her. Like, there's definitely some motherfuckers that know shit that are just keeping their mouth closed. Like, oh, bro, I don't really want to say anything. You know what I mean? But they 100% know stuff. So I reckon if it does turn to like one of them he said, she says, bro, motherfuckers are coming out and calling out Cody Kerr. 100%. And I like him. And I like him. And I'm saying that so uh so yeah if he does have a pretty large female audience and while it is my belief that he will always have a platform i do want to know true. if you guys think this story could do severe damage to his career but i guess for now we're just gonna have to wait and see what he has to finally say and we definitely still have to hear him out and hear his side of the story but i want to know mm. what you guys think about this entire situation down below I also want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Y'all know I'll continue to keep you updated as more things continue to come out. But for now, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. Some other online situations out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Have a good one, bro. Hey, my thoughts, bro. I feel like I feel like Cody Ko is kind of fucked, especially now that it's being posted by so many people. Like, look at this. Jamari, he's pretty big on that shit. Umpaville posted it. Moist Critical posted it. Bro, there's been so many people that have spoken about it now. It's like, oh, fuck. It, it is not looking good, bro. It is not looking good for Cody Ko. So, bro, I'll probably make another one when he responds. I'm interested to see what this brother says. And yeah, hopefully, I don't really have any hope. Whatever happens, happens. I'm fucking actually pretty keen to see. Have a good one, gentlemen. I'll see you brothers when I'm looking at you. I can see through their lies. Why